Okay, so monitor works, keyboard works. Um, everything mechanical seems to be working. The last thing I gotta check is good old 1541 floppy disk drive. And to check that, I have me a genuine 1541 test disk. So let's pop her in and see what it does. Ugh. Oh, I was really hoping that, I was really hoping that that would just work. Of course, you know, actually it was working the other day and now it's decided it no longer wants to work. Ah, <sighs> sounds familiar. Anyway, so let's see if we can troubleshoot. The first thing you gotta do is remove the glove box here. <clears throat> I believe I can do that by removing these screws on this bracket without dropping screws. Oh, there it is. I can imagine David Murray watching this and just saying, see, see, it's not so easy, is it? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, David's a good dude. I like David. He's a good dude. And he's one of those guys that, he's a good dude and he's one of those guys that really inspired me to uh, do what I do um, for better or worse. I enjoy doing this kind of work. I really do. Uh, I really enjoy doing this and, um, and I appreciate guys like David and uh, Clint Basinger, uh, who have been doing this for a lot longer. And I appreciate what they do, I appreciate the work, and I appreciate the entertainment that they, they bring, and not just the entertainment, but like the educational value too. Now I can see what's going on. Everything's spinning okay. All right, so let's try cleaning it first. Clean the head and see what that does. Let's lift that back up. It sounds like that motor's laboring too. All right. Yeah, it gets it, it it's getting stuck right there. I'd like to move forward. All right, let's lubricate that up a little bit. A little bit of a little lithium grease. Oh yeah, that's moving a lot more nicely. Hopefully that does it, hopefully that fixes it. <sighs> okay, so I have tried all of the simple hardware and software type troubleshooting remedies that I've been able to come up with on the SX floppy drive, uh, to no avail. So I have here another 1541 floppy drive. This is a standalone 1541 floppy drive that I got from the get in place. And I have taken it apart now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the old switcheroo for troubleshooting purposes. Uh, 
this one also doesn't work. It, um, it has a different problem than that one does. So if I can kind of narrow it down, um, we'll, we'll see what happens. So if this one starts to work in that machine, then I'll know it's the mechanism. And if that one starts to work in this machine, I'll know it's the driver board. So um, hopefully we'll find out something that actually does work. And uh, yeah, so there we go. So let me do some of that. So we have two nearly identical drives. Um, mechanically, they are identical. Electrically, they are slightly different. And it really just lies right here in these wiring harnesses. The 1541 has the wiring split out onto three different uh, connectors, while as the SX model has it all in one connector. Uh, it's the same amount of wires. I, I don't know why they chose to do it like this. I guess it worked out where it was on the board better. Um, they couldn't design the board any better than that. But, I mean, this is an earlier version of the 1541. Yeah, I mean, I guess technically it's a 1540, but it says 1541 on it. But I don't know. It's, it's a weird, so weird uh, Commodore and their numbering schemes. Anyway. Um, so, uh, these are the same, so that's not a problem. I just need to swap these connectors around. <laughs> okay, so I have this interesting convoluted setup. This is the 1541 disk drive, and I have actually kind of rigged it up with a bunch of jumpers into the SX uh, FDD board here. So this is all wired in, that's all correct. Oh, let's, let's see what it does. Okay, contact. I know it does a self-test, so that's okay. It's not spinning like crazy like the other one did, so that tells me that there's a physical problem with that drive. And it works. It works. It works. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. All right. That makes me so happy. Okay. Now I just need to fix a wiring harness for this. Um, put this into here. And I think this thing's going to be ready to play some games. So instead of taking a whole bunch of time and making individual wiring harnesses, uh, I, we, don't, we haven't had a lot of hot glue on the channel. So I'm just gonna hot glue everything together and that will suffice at least for right now. And then I can go back and, and do a little more properly later. That'll be fine. All right, cool. Let's get this thing cleaned up and I think she's gonna be ready for showtime. 